From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jameson Euler. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has the latest update on Ian in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. A mandatory evacuation of Zone A in Hillsborough County is now in effect. This is areas that are right on the water and vulnerable to potential storm surge and flooding. If you live in Zone B right now, that is a voluntary evacuation order, but that could and likely will change. Shelters have opened, but officials are asking you to make these your last resort. Evacuation orders also now in effect for the most flood prone areas of Pinellas County. If you live in the level A evacuation zone or a mobile home, county leaders want you out of your home right now. More mandatory evacuations will go into effect at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, impacting those who live in zones B and C. And if you're looking to get out of town, there are some options. You can drive, but traffic is heavy right now and might continue to be that way through tomorrow. If you're wanting to take a flight, TPA says it will remain open and operational and will work with airline and emergency management partners to determine if and when they would close. St. Pete Clearwater Airport says it will remain open until tomorrow morning with a final flight going out at 1122 a.m. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecasts. Hurricane warnings remain in effect for Hillsborough County, for Pinellas County, for Manatee and Sarasota. Hurricane watch for Pasco, Sumter, Hernando and Citrus County. Inland areas will not get the wind that the coastal areas will. There are tropical storm warnings in effect for our inland counties and our southern counties. Storm surge is also a big issue. In fact, probably the biggest issue is the water. You hide from the wind, you run from the water. The extreme wind with any of these storms is maybe only five or 10 miles, but this heavy water can easily extend all the way up and down the coastline, five to 10 foot surge, and then you add winds and waves on top of that. Now, if the center stays offshore, it'll be more like five. If unfortunately it moves onshore from that point south, about five miles, you would expect to see a storm surge of about 10 feet. Ian is now a category two hurricane getting stronger. It is approaching Cuba, so we are hoping maybe that might take a little bit of punch out of it. The track is not set in stone yet for the next few days. It is, but you can still see there is a margin of error that it could go more to the west or it could go more to the east. And if it goes to the west, that would obviously be a huge help for the Bay Area. But at this point, you have to prepare for a track close to our coastal areas with winds gusting up to about 100 miles an hour in some spots, probably 80 to 90 in most spots. The wind we can handle, but it's the water that's the real threat. If you live along the coast, if you live on the beach, if you live along the bay, if you live along rivers that feed into the Gulf, that would be the biggest threat. You cannot run from the water if you wait too long.